Hello everybody, and welcome to the first annual Enjoy the Gaming Awards, where we celebrate the best games of 2013. Let's start with the best adventure game out there. The nominees are Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Shovel Knight, Valiant Arts, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. The winner is Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero. The latest chapter in the Metal Gear franchise is a small sandbox full of different strategies to complete your mission, high replayability, and phenomenal graphics. Will also be in the prologue for one of the most anticipated games for next year. Next up are the nominees for the best action game. The nominees are Bayonetta 2, The Binding of Isaac, The Reaper, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, Wolfenstein The New Order. The winner is Wolfenstein, The New Order. The latest chapter in the most famous Nazi killing franchise delivered an interesting take on alternate history, but also featuring robot Nazi dogs, akimbo machine guns, and hilarious dialogue. Next up is the best RPG of the year. The nominees are Always Sometimes Monsters, Child of Light, Destiny, Dragon Age Inquisition, South Park, The Stick of Truth. The winner is South Park, The Stick of Truth. Easily one of the best licensed games out there. Health Park The Stick of Truth is an hilarious adventure with all your favorite characters from that quiet mountain town. Now we're going to take a look at the biggest sandbox games of this year. The nominees for best open world of the game are The Crew, Dark Souls 2, Far Cry 4, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Watch Dogs. The winner is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Mix the free running exploration of Assassin's Creed, add in the combat from the Batman Arkham games, and you get a big open world full of orcs to command as you please. Now are the games for those that prefer thinking rather than fighting. The nominees for best puzzle game are Back to Bed, Door Kickers. Escape Go to Life Goes On The Talos Principle The winner is Talos Principle The latest game from Crow Team closely resembles the original Portal in all the right ways. If you want hard as nails puzzles and a compelling story, the Talos Principle is for you. If you're one that prefers being scared shitless, here are the nominees for the best horror game. Alien Isolation Among the Sleep The Evil Within Never Ending Nightmares PT The winner is PT This playable teaser for the upcoming Silent Hills was one of the scariest games of last year creating an intense atmosphere without relying on jumpscares. Next up are the best games to play with your friends. The nominees for best multiplayer game are Depth, Insurgency, Loadout, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Titanfall. The winner is Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. The King of the Living Room is back with an even big and roster of characters, but with up to 8 local players to fight with. Next up, we celebrate the most original games of this year. The nominees are Shovel Knight, The Talos Principle, This War of Mine, Valiant Hearts, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. The winner is this war of mine. Based on the real-life siege of Sarajevo during the Bosnian War, 
This war game focuses on the survival of the civilians rather than on the soldiers, delivering an emotional experience that won't be easily forgotten. But let's cheer up with the best soundtracks of this year. The nominees are The Evil Within. Day 2, Outline Miami DLC. Shovel Knight. Wolfenstein with a new order. The winner is Shovel Knight. This 8 bit soundtrack features some really beautiful tracks to listen to, but also perfectly underlining what is happening on screen in this amazing retro adventure. And now, before choosing the best game of this year, let's take a look at the worst of the worst the games that wasted your time and money. The nominees for the worst game of the year are Dark Shadows Army of Evil, Escape from Dead Island, Rambo the Video Game, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyrics, Take Down Red Saber. The winner is Dark Shadows Army of Evil. Of all the games released this year, this was the closest of being offensive to every gamer. Awful graphics, terrible gameplay, unresponsive controls, and painful level design are just some of the things that make this the worst game release this year. Finally, what we were waiting for. Here are the nominees for the best game of the year. Bayonetta 2 Dark Souls 2 Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor PT Shovel Knight South Park The Stick of Truth The Talos Principle The Vanishing of Ethan Carter Wolfenstein The New Order The winner of the Enjoy the Gaming Game of the Year award is Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes this is the best game to be released this year, not only for its visuals and voice acting, but for also having the best controls in a Metal Gear game ever. But all the other nominees are just as amazing as this game, and the best games to be released this year. <laughs>